Here are the four halogen elements. Fluorine, fluorine, bromine and iodine. Fluorine on the left is almost colourless. Next comes chlorine which is greenish yellow. Fluorine and chlorine are both gases at room temperature. But bromine is a liquid and iodine is a solid. Even so they're both quite volatile. You can see the coloured vapours, orange red above the liquid bromine and purple above the solid iodine. Whether solid, liquid or gas, the halogen elements consist of diatomic molecules F2, Cl2, Br2 and I2. Fluorine reacts often ferociously with almost everything else. A stream of fluorine instantly sets iron wool on fire and it does the same thing to charcoal. Now let's see the reaction with hydrogen. There's hydrogen in the balloon. A jet of fluorine gas pierces the balloon and explodes with the hydrogen inside. Let's see it again in slow motion. Now you can see the fireball more clearly. Now the reaction between hydrogen and chlorine. I light the hydrogen at the jet and lower it into a jar of chlorine. The hydrogen carries on burning but with a pale blue flame. When the halogens react with hydrogen the hydrogen halides are produced. HF, HCl, HBr and HI. In each compound the halogen has a valency of 1. All four compounds are gases. They're also very soluble in water. Here's water swallowing a jar of hydrogen chloride. Now let's see how the halogens react with aluminium. When aluminium powder meets fluorine gas, the reaction's over in a flash. To get chlorine to react with aluminium, I'll heat some foil in a stream of the gas. The white fumes are aluminium trichloride. With bromine, I just drop aluminium foil into the liquid. There's a short delay, but normal service is soon resumed. Once the reaction gets going, it quickly takes on the appearance of the pit of hell. As with the chlorine reaction, there's white smoke. That's aluminium tribromide. The reaction with iodine is just as spectacular. A little warming helps to get things moving, but once the reaction's off it needs no further assistance. The products of all four of these reactions are white solids, and they're all trihalides. AL3, ALCL3, ALBR3, and ALI3. Now aluminium is a trivalent element, so in these compounds the halogens are all showing a valency of 1. That valency of 1 is also satisfied when the halogen atoms bind to one another in the diatomic molecules with which I started this sequence.